one thing that's clear is that science is not another belief system, right? Science is a system. It is an imperfect system, but it does lead to the discovery of realities that can really make people healthier. And an armchair scientist, having a relative who's a scientist, uh, is not the same thing as someone who spent their career focused on a specific issue and, and understands it thoroughly. You know, if I want my child who has cancer to be treated for cancer, I'm not going to take them to, uh, you know, a psychiatrist, although that may be part of the therapy. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to, you know, take my child, um, you know, as much as I love, uh, you know, music to a musician to heal them, although music therapy may be part of it. I'm going to take that child to someone who knows as much as I can, as anyone, about how to treat childhood cancer. And I think that the, the issue I see right now is that there are many folks, you know, we see them on TV all the time, who are immensely competent in terms of their knowledge. You know, Tony Fauci has been doing this forever, starting with HIV, uh, as one good example. But there are lots of other people who are, are essentially claiming knowledge over domains of which they have no worldly experience. And they're, they're not humble enough to recognize the limitations and the risks of being so strong, um, strongly opinionated about, about things that, that really matter to people's lives.